And just, uh, this is called back wheel hopping. This is how you control your bike. To learn to do this sort of stuff, you've got to learn how to control your bike. And this is one of the first tricks that you would do. Just hold the bike on the back wheel using the back brake and just turn that bike 360 degrees. That in itself takes around about uh, 18 months to learn how to do that. And Lee makes that look pretty easy. Gaps down to that bar. Pretty simple stuff there from Lee. Okay, let's get Scott up now. So Scott, one of our youngest riders on the team, he's only 21 years old, but he's probably one of our most experienced riders because he's been riding since he was six. When he was 10 years old, he competed at the World Championships and uh, did pretty well because he won. So he was a junior world champion when he was 10. Since then, he's gone on to compete at the British Championships, which he's won six times. He's just come back from France, competing over there, representing Great Britain. This guy is one of the best trials riders in the UK, and he represents our sport. His name's Scott Wilson. Scott, let's see if we can do a little, uh, a little turn for us. This is called a 180 flick turn, where he flicks the bike around. Very narrow platform to do this on. Nice little trick there. If he's riding in an obstacle course and he's doing a bike trial, this is the sort of move he would use to get himself repositioned to ride a bit further. Now he gets a bike on the back wheel, drop down to the bar, and uh, hopefully give a little round of applause. That's Scott there, ladies and gents. Scott and Lee from the Mad Team. So, that's who they are and what we are. <laughs> My name's Giles, I'm a team director of Mad, and uh, I do get asked the question a lot, do I do this? Well, no, not anymore, but uh, you do tend to retire when you get to about 30, which was only last week for me, obviously. <laughs> okay, Lee, let's see if we can go a little bit higher then. Let's see if uh, Lee can show you a little move, which is the uh, side hop to platform. Now remember, this is a static position, straight onto that platform a metre high. He just turns his bike around here, and now he's just going to ride along the rails. It gives us an idea just how much balance Lee's got on his bike. The bike that he's riding here, now this is a mountain bike trials bike. Uh, they are a little bit different from normal bikes, and I'll tell you a bit more about them later. But the big fundamental thing you can notice is there's no saddle fitted to the bike. And there's a reason for that, and that's because you never sit down. And you don't need a saddle, and you also need lots of clearance. So to give you an idea of uh, the clearance that you need, Lee, if you just demonstrate why there's no saddle on there. If you had a saddle on there, gents, you'd understand that. That would hurt. <laughs> so we don't bother with saddles. So let's get to Scott up onto the platform now. So watch this move. Powerful move up onto the platform from a standing start. Look how smooth he makes it look. It's all about smooth, controlled riding. Now Scott's just going to show us how to ride onto this little balance beam onto the rail. This is called a gap to rail. This is uh, pretty technical. He locks the back brake up and he'll just release that brake and hold the brake again when he makes the landing. How smooth was that? Nicely done, Scott. Right. Okay, we're going to get the guys to uh, come over to this piece of equipment called the uh, Land Rover Challenge. Now, Lee's going to go first. And this is just about riding the bike from wheel to wheel, axle to axle. Now, Lee's bike, you can see he's got these super big, fat tyres on there. These are really grippy tyres. If, if it is wet and raining, we can still ride because we've got massive grippy tyres. Very low tyre pressures as well, which means that it maximises its grip. And also, you can see on the front, Lee's got a disc brake on there. Well, that disc brake just lets him get maximum braking traction. And uh, on the rear, he's got a hydraulic brake. So that it's all about maximum braking for these guys. So Lee's just going to drop to the side here. Nicely controlled there, Lee. And we're going to get Scott to come a bit further on up for us. Well done. That's a nice clap as well. Scott, are you going to go a little bit, uh, a little bit further? Let's see what Scott got, got for us. Now remember, you probably all ride bikes, or you've all got a bike, and uh, just try balancing on your bike when you go home. Just try balancing on a flat area and see how long no, you won't. can last. <laughs> now imagine doing this sort of stuff. You know, it looks simple. Uh, in terms of precision and accuracy, well, you can see how close the barrier is, and uh, let's just see how close Scott can get to that barrier. On the back wheel, right to the very edge. Nicely done, Scott. So now Lee's going to come a little bit further for us and uh, show us a slightly different move that Lee's got. Rides up onto the uh, edge, onto the top section. His eye level there is about, about 12 foot or so. 
So uh, from here, it's got a nice little landing zone, and hopefully it'll put a little bit of a stylish twist into this one. Everyone likes to see a 360. That's a nice smooth 360 for me. So here, here with National Bike Week, all about getting out on your bikes, enjoying yourselves, getting out and having fun. And uh, these guys ride pretty much every single day. When they're not training, they're out doing competitions, or they're out doing demos. Okay, Scott is now gonna show us a little move on this equipment, which uh, really just shows you how fine-tuned their riding can be. So he's on the back wheel, and uh, just check out what he's doing here. Riding all the way, on the back wheel alone, no front wheel touching that bar at all. Show him a little bit of appreciation. That's good work, Scott. <laughs> Thing is, they make you look, I, I watch this all the time and obviously ride a bit as well. And even I'm amazed at how smooth the guys are. They just make it really look so controlled and easy. And you probably know if someone makes something look very easy, it's because they're very good at it. So let's get Scott up onto the top platform now. Six foot high here. It's going to turn that bike 90 degrees and then uh, just put maximum effort into hoisting it onto the platform. Nicely done, Scott. Now you're up there, you've just got to jump across now onto the top of the Land Rover. So that's a gap of around about, uh, we make that gap about six foot three. So Scott on the back wheel, smooth transition, very nicely done. Was that your rear hub clicking, Scott? It sounded like something, was it your knees? You never can tell. I like that. <laughs> Uh, and yeah. it's special effect. He says, okay, now he's just gonna get his bike lined up to come down the ladder here. This looks easy. It's actually pretty scary. Gotta get all of his weight over the back of the bike and then just gently control that bike down those rungs. Take it easy, Scott. Right to the bottom, give it up for him. Really nicely done. Okay, let's get Lee up here now. Lee was feeling a little bit, a little bit docile this morning. We gave him a quick energy drink and he should be a, a woken up a little bit more now. So from the back wheel up to the tower, this is a little test. How's he feeling? Yeah, he's done that okay. Now watch, watch Lee's technique here to get the bike onto the top of the Land Rover. He doesn't jump across onto the front wheel. He's going to jump from back wheel to back wheel. This really is a bit of a of the ladder, absolute precision and control all the way down those rungs. Look at that Lee. Awesome. These guys pushing the limits a little bit every time, just trying to show you it's not all about showing off, it's about having control as well. So they've come down the ladder. Now Scott, are you going to be going up this ladder again later? You are, aren't you? You're not going up it again, this will be your one and only time. You think so? Okay, well, Scott, are you going to have a go at going up the hard way? Like you did yesterday, yeah. He's going to have a go at uh, showing you a real, very, very tricky technique of getting up this ladder. Now, Scott is used to riding at competition level, so he's used to putting himself under pressure. Normally, in a round, they have two minutes to get round a, a, a section, and uh, Scott knows how to ride under pressure. This is real control and balance. Going up this ladder sideways, edging his bike up there, relying on that grip. I think Scott deserves a round of applause for that. That was awesome, Scott. Real technical hey. stuff there from the young man. Now he gets himself across that platform, drops down onto the top platform. It's an early course. We do a lot of schools work as well, so we get involved in Imagine the response that the guys get. Especially when we get the kids sitting down at the front and we get very close to them. And then we let them have a ride of the bikes afterwards as well. So the kids actually love this sort of stuff. Now, Scott, you're going to do a little jump for us from there? It's going to go for a, a little, well, I said a little jump. It's more of a big jump, actually, sorry. From this top platform, Scott's going to jump across onto the kids' lower platform. Beautifully controlled, nicely held. Watch him jump across these rails. One, two, real technique there from Scott. Awesome. <laughs> Scott Wilson, check him out on YouTube. So we were talking earlier on as well to uh, someone was mentioning about the uh, guy that was on Britain's Got Talent 
called Joe Oakley. He was on a couple of weeks ago. Well, and you know, you're probably going to think you would say that, but absolute true. Joe used to be a competition rider. He wanted to learn how to do demos, and he came and rode with the Mad Team for 18 months, about 18 months to two years. And uh, if you keep an eye on Britain's Got Talent next year, you'll see the Mad Team doing it, because uh, we liked what Joe did, but we think we're better. Uh, so we're, uh, we're going to have a little appearance on there. OK, Lee, what are you doing up there? I think there you go. <laughs> that one right. So Lee's going to do a little drop now for us down onto the ground, but should we make it a bit harder on the bar? Make it onto the rail. There's going to be a gap to rail, this one. Onto, the, onto this rail here. So you saw Scott drop down onto this platform. And Lee's going to drop down six foot high and try and land the bike on that tiny, tiny bar. Pretty, hairy and scary. Remember, there's no suspension on these bikes either. So all the suspension is in the arms and legs. He says, I didn't practice this. No, but I've seen you do it before, Lee. I know you can do it. OK, let's get have a go. Let's get have a go. We'll, we'll do that on the 130. OK. Lee dropped down to rail. Precise drop. He hadn't, he hadn't done this this week, so this could be a little first for him. Lines that bike up. Oh, that's pretty precise. Awesome stuff. Scott, do you want to come up onto the, uh, onto the defender, uh, discovery? I've got a little plan for you. That was pretty accurate, but I reckon you can show the ladies and gentlemen something with a, even more accuracy. We're going to get Scott up onto the top of the uh, Discovery. And I've got a little challenge for him. Now remember, this is seven foot high. So anything he does up there requires a little bit of extra effort. So seven foot high, and the drop area there's a tiny little gap. The only area they've got to drop is this tiny platform here. That is it's about a three inch gap. Just to make it a bit harder for him, Scott, <laughs> you didn't know I was gonna do this to you, did you? We're gonna take this little drinks can, and I'm gonna put it down there. And the idea is, how's that, is that okay? Have a go? Okay, here, have a go. The idea is, Scott is gonna drop down from the top of the platform and land on the cab. Would you be impressed if he could do that? OK, Scott, a few people would be impressed. <laughs> I think three in total. No, no, the, this, is, this is an impressive trick. It's a sort of trick that we did about... Uh, we've been doing it for a few years, but it's a little test that we have for our riders. If they can do this, they pretty much get on the team. It shows how accurate they're going to be. I haven't seen Scott do this for a long time, so there's no guarantees he's going to get it first time. Let's see if he can get it now. And if he does, give him a big cheer. Come on, Scott. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Live, first time round, nails it. No problem at all. Right, we're going to get Lee to come up for us now, and Scott as well, because we're going to get both guys to do uh, a couple of biggie tricks. So we're here as part of National Bike Week. We've got other attractions going on as well, so you can uh, come and talk to our exhibitors here. Walk carefully, Lee. That's the ladder. You, you a bit. You, you need to warm up a bit. Scott's going up to the six foot. Lee's got to get himself up onto the top of the Discovery. Going up that ladder is not easy. That's better. Makes that first step. Have you got everything you need up there, Lee? OK, over this side, he's just about got enough space, just about got enough room. We're going to get Scott to do a nice big 360 for us from the six-foot platform. By the way, please don't try doing any of this at home, OK? It looks easy, but really it's... Scott, are you ready? You're probably the last thing you were thinking of doing when you got home tonight. OK, Scott gets his bike into position just judges himself, gets himself happy, and he's got to put a full rotation into this one, and he's looking for a safe, safe landing. So lines his front wheel up, and then just flicks that back end round. Here he goes. Lovely little 360 from Scott. Smooth landing as well. Lee hasn't dropped off at the top of the Land Rover yet. And because it's Lee, and he likes to push things a little bit and go a bit uh, further than some of the other guys, we give him a choice. Do you want to see him drop down the easy way or the hard way? <laughs> the hard way, sir. Thank you very much for your <laughs> inspiration. See, one, but OK, everyone else, I want you to cover your eyes because you're not allowed to look. <laughs> right, do you want the easy way or the hard way? 
Had we? The hard way, okay, <laughs> right. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> right, okay. Lee is going to try the hard way, which involves removing the front wheel and uh, making sure you get the landing absolutely spot on. So lines that bike up. Can he make it? Oh, yes, he does. Awesome landing from Lee. He'll be happy with that one. Well, ladies and gents, in your lunch hour, I hope you've enjoyed watching these guys. You've been watching Lee, you've been watching Scott. Give him a little round of applause. We're going to do another show uh, in about half an hour, so uh, do stick around. There's uh, fresh bits over there and things going on, so go and have a chat.